Come monsoon, waterlogged roads are inevitable in a major cities. The recent rainfall in Hyderabad also flooded many roads, which led to traffic snarls. And as road connectivity took a serious hit, the government declared holidays for educational institutions and many companies were forced to get back to work from home. Now, what is the solution? Many experts say that the most efficient and perhaps the only sustainable way to deal with this problem is by investing in local and micro-level solutions like uh, rainwater harvesting. Welcome to Telangana Today. You are one-stop destination for the latest news, insightful analysis and engaging stories from the heart of Telangana and beyond. Today, let us understand how rainwater harvesting can help us avoid water logging. First, let us understand that it is the roads in the low-lying areas that are often waterlogged. Water from all other streets run off and is collected in these areas which cause as floating. If we can capture as much rainwater as possible around the city, it will automatically reduce the runoff. But how do you harvest rainwater? For that, let's listen to noted water conservationist and founder of the rainwater project Kalpana Ramesh. We will also be guiding you on different methods of rainwater harvesting. The simplest, of course, is to use an inline filter and use your own resources to do rainwater harvesting. Like uh, from the rooftop, your water gets collected. It goes into this inline filter, which probably costs seven, eight thousand rupees. And from the inline filter, the water reaches your own sump. And from the sump, all you need to do is to do a overflow pipe that can get into your dead bore, or you can connect it to a percolation pit right next to your working board or you could do an injection board based on your budget. The whole idea is within the community or within your apartment uh, precincts, whatever rainwater that happens, you want to send it back to the ground and also reuse in your own sums. So the 35-45 days of rain that we get, you will not require any other water in those days. And all the overflow water that is going and replenishing your bore sources will come off use in summer. So there will be a huge reduction in the number of tankers that you use. So it will be a huge wealth benefit as well to you. And since we are doing common area rainwater harvesting pits, these are also going to help further enhance or enrich your bore resources. By doing this simple action, we will be achieving three things water security for this basin and for the future generation and remember this is a one-time effort the second we will be achieving is avoid urban flooding that happens all around our streets in the common areas the third we will be achieving is to reduce groundwater pollution that is seeping into our bore resources today by making your uh, bore uh, groundwater rich you are going to avoid uh, the seepage of black water that happens into our bore resources and this will be a pushback. 